Friday and we are on the heels of Christmas. I cannot believe it. I hope you are cozy inside today and done with all of your Christmas shopping because it is just too cold for that madness. Our Kerrigan showman has been tracking this winter weather all morning and good morning. It is terrible. It is cold. I don't like it at all. Not even a little bit. Yeah, so stepping outside today, you are definitely going to uh, double think your choice of, of stepping outside to even begin with. It is freezing out there and we will be below that freezing mark all day long. I mean, our temperatures are in the teens in Houston right now. That's hard to believe. 18 degrees in, uh, in town and then we go up to Austin. They're at 18 degrees as well and Amarillo. Single digits warming up to 7 degrees as of 9.30 a.m. here today. Even at down along the coast in Brownsville, 28 degrees, which is um, pretty rare for that far south in the state. Now let's look at our fields like temperature because it's not only the cold, but it's also the wind. Winds have been gusty on the order of 40 plus miles per hour out along the coast today, making it feel more like four degrees in Houston, zero degrees in Waco. And I mean, look at our um, our winds here at the Bush Airport still out of the north northwest at 15 miles per hour and again feeling more like four degrees. So we do have that cold air that's going to be here for quite some time um, for the rest of our day today. Going into the start of our weekend, we do have another hard freeze in effect for tonight, and that's going to last through our Saturday morning. But Santa's commute this weekend looks pretty good, at least while he's passing through Texas. On Christmas Eve, our skies will be clear, that sunshine shining bright for the next several days. A cool a crisp start to our Christmas morning as well uh, as kids are waking up, opening the presents, and um, hmm, what I don't know what else do people do on Christmas morning. <laughs> I don't know. I know cookies? I have two little ones who are super excited about Christmas morning. So yes. it's good to know that Santa will have a safe travel. Yeah. Thanks, Kerrigan. Now, holiday travel and a deep freeze. It's the perfect combination for flight cancellations and travel madness. And our Seth Kovar is live at the airport in the middle of all of it. I'm so happy, Seth, that you are indoors. That makes me so happy. Jen, you have no idea how happy I am to be indoors. It's probably 50 some odd degrees in here. The doors down at the end there keep opening and closing. So many travelers coming through, but it beats being outside, that's for sure. I'm putting on a brave face with just the top coat here. It should have a heavier coat. But anyway, if you're going to be traveling through Bush Intercontinental Airport, Hobby Airport, pack your patience today. They're very busy, yes, but there have been lots of flight cancellations and delays. To no one's fault, blame Mother Nature, and not necessarily here. There's really no problems for the airports. They're winterized. There's no ice and snow out there that they have to get off the runways and off of airplanes. It's the flights that are coming in. Some of the planes didn't make it in overnight and places that you're going are snowed in as well. I want to take a look over here as well. These boards, of course, is what we all look up at praying that it says on time. You see some of that, but you also see a lot of delayed and then even canceled. I see a Southwest flight to Denver canceled. That's fight 568. Now in the middle there is an important screen for you as well. That's the wait time for security. Less than 10 minutes in Terminal A right now. So that is a little bit of good news, but you're still advised to get here two hours early for a domestic flight, three hours early for an international flight. That sounds absurdly early, but believe me, with the crowds here at the airport, you're probably going to want to do that. That's the advice of airport leaders. Now, I met a family of four from spring earlier today. They did everything right. They got here plenty early. They were waiting in line, ready to go. 30 minutes before their flight took off, they learned some bad news. Let's go ahead and hear what they had to say about all that. We actually had a friend drop us off, which means we asked a big favor, and now we're about to ask another really big favor. What's that? Um, to come back and get us. <laughs> Why? Um, they canceled our flight, so we were supposed to leave at 6.30, and at 6 o'clock we were told that it was canceled, so we're all trying to rebook and try to make it out to the family for the holidays. That couple was amazing. Their patience. They had a five year old and a teething toddler with them, but they're keeping them calm. They're trying to keep that demeanor good so everyone can have a Merry Christmas. Hopefully, they'll get to New York to their family eventually. One thing I want to point out to you though pull out your phone and go to flight the number two Houston.com. That'll take you to a website that you can check out your flight status and other important information about these airports because you never know what kind of delays could be out here. Hopefully, your travels are going to be safe and a happy Merry Christmas to all of you, Jen. All right, thanks, Seth, and Merry Christmas to you. And you are done, so go enjoy your family.
All right, now this hard freeze isn't just being felt here. The entire state has been prepping for frigid weather for days. As Ryan Chandler reports, from Amarillo to Brownsville, Texas will spend Christmas in a deep freeze. Across Texas, 30 million bracing for a hard freeze. In the panhandle, brutal wind chills plunging as low as negative 30. That front barreling down to Lubbock, causing some of the first infrastructure failures. About 1,300 people briefly without power Thursday morning as the West Texas winds blow down power poles. And single-digit temps bust water lines, covering the streets in ice. And far west in El Paso, a humanitarian crisis, making the shortfall of shelter and heat all the more urgent. Initial capacity is being set up at 1,000. We have the, the, the room to expand. The reason why we didn't expand from the get-go, because we don't know what the population is truly going to bring. Officials scrambling to find shelter for people seeking asylum, but for many, a warm welcome comes only from a desperate fire on the banks of the border. Far from the border, major metros like Austin and Houston also working to give their neighbors without shelter a warm night's sleep. They had to go into wooded areas because they couldn't really be out in the public. The best thing that we can do to prepare for these weather emergencies is to make sure that fewer people are experiencing homelessness, that they're not on the streets. The danger is not just for people. Texans and Tyler taking extra care for their livestock. We have to make sure that the pipes we have feeding the water troughs don't break. And in Brownsville. Worries about the deadly side effects of desperation. Always use your generators outside the structure. Never put your generator inside the garage or near a home. It's the most dangerous gas that's out there. And that was Ryan Chandler reporting. Now, when we come back, we'll introduce you to a 90-year-old Lee Lockridge with his reindeer glasses and Santa hat. Lee has been ringing the Salvation Army red kettle bell for years, and he's not letting a little cold stop him this year. That and more when we come back. When couples cause chaos, <laughs> Judge Mathis keeps the peace. Can you divorce us right now? <laughs> Judge Mathis, next on CW 39 Houston. We're Energy Texas, an energy company by Texans for Texans. Giddy up guaranteed to have competitive rates based on your actual usage. 100% renewable power. Energy Texas. What makes best reviews the best reviews? They have an unbiased team that researches products in real world situations to give reliable recommendations on pretty much everything. Call that a plasma sword? So you can be confident that whatever you're buying is right for you, no matter what life throws at it. Like your daughter Clementine, for example. For the best reviews, go to bestreviews.com. Seriously, before you buy anything, ever. Negligent drivers cause accidents that hurt innocent people every day. Don't pay the price for medical bills and property damage that was caused by another's irresponsible behavior. Mocarum Law is one of the nation's premier personal injury law firms. With over 25 years of experience battling insurance companies to get innocent accident victims the compensation they deserve. Call 24-7 at 713-900-2222. Call for your free consultation. You pay nothing unless they win. Call 713-900-2222. 713-900-2222. Get ready to go. On Monday, December 26th at 10 a.m., the Rooms to Go New Year's sale begins. Celebrate your home in 2023. Start fresh, save big, and get 55-month interest-free financing on living rooms, 55-month interest-free financing on bedrooms, 55-month interest-free financing. The best way to buy the furniture you want with low interest-free monthly payments during the Rooms to Go New Year's sale. Hey, Houston, the QR code in your screen. Go ahead, grab your phone and open your camera. Now, download our CW39 app and stay connected 24-7 to news happening in your neighborhood and our city. Also, Houston weather's always changing. Get the certified most accurate forecast at your fingertips, plus up-to-the-minute traffic updates. Download the CW39 app. Stay connected. Energy Texas, an energy company by Texans for Texans. Giddy up guaranteed to have competitive rates based on your actual usage. 100% renewable power. Energy Texas. Now a heart.
heartwarming story this morning out of Lubbock. A 90-year-old Salvation Army volunteer who's been ringing the red kettle bell for years is back at it this year. Brenshavia Jordan stopped by for a chat with Lee Lockridge. Take a look. Doing the most good is what 90-year-old Lee Lockridge does every day and especially the six days he volunteers as a bell ringer for the Salvation Army. And he does it in his oh, yellow rim, years. festive glasses and Santa and hat. I, I love this, being out and doing this. And I'll do it till I die. Lockridge has been retired for several years and has spent the past two years on duty helping with the Red Kettle campaign. He is the top local bell ringer helping raise over $24,000. Get to visit with all these people, you know, and uh, not many of them will t have time to talk to you, but I'll holler at them. I've got to acquainted with a lot of people. Salvation Army Major David Worthy said in a statement that Lockridge is a volunteer treasure, giving himself selflessly to help the campaign reach its seasonal goals with lots of energy and good health. I like to watch the little ones, help them put their money in the bucket and uh, see that's teaching them how to give. Lockridge is an expert when it comes to giving and has a message for anyone who passes his red kettle at the United Supermarket on Frankfurt and 82nd. They are a wonderful organization because they help so many people. And that's why I like to bring this bell. The Salvation Army's goal this year is $200,000. And Worthy says Lockridge will be the reason the goal is met because of his effort at doing the right thing. I love him and I love those glasses. Now, are you looking for easy ways to save? Rich Demuro has a host of smartphone hacks to help you do just that. Take a look. Saving money always feels good. These smartphone hacks can help you save a bundle and they're easy. First up, Google Lens. So this is a game changer when it comes to shopping. George Camel is a personal finance expert at Ramsey Solutions. He says using Google Lens to take a picture of a product can save you big. Let's say you're shopping, you see a pair of boots that you love, but maybe they're outside of your budget and you want to spend a little less. Well, you can take a picture of those boots with Google Lens and Google's going to pull up every kind of boot that looks like that. It may pull up the exact same boot and show you, hey, instead of buying it at Nordstrom, you can get the same boot at Kohl's or a similar looking boot for $200 less. Tap this camera icon in the Google app on iPhone or in the search bar on Android to activate the feature. This just gives me a little bit of confidence as I'm shopping to at least know that I'm not getting ripped off. Next up, an app called Flip. It lets you search through major retailer sale flyers, perfect for finding a specific brand you want on sale at a store near you. For instance, razors are notoriously expensive, but you can use this app to search for your favorite brand and find out where they're on sale near you. Finally, if you love shopping at big box retailers like Target, don't forget to price match. You should feel like the smartest shopper around when this works for you. Tech columnist Jennifer Jolly says price matching has saved her hundreds of dollars to do it, use the barcode feature inside Target's app to scan products in store. If Target's app is selling something cheaper, ask the cashier to price match. You should never feel guilty doing this. This is helping you get the best deals, but it's also helping Target make sales. We're now joined by Lee Barnes, the VP of Business Development at Free Range XR, and he's here to tell us a little bit about extended reality experiences. So, for those not familiar, can you go ahead and explain what XR is and the difference between virtual and augmented reality? Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Hannah. So, uh, I like to level out by starting with, I ask usually a question mm -hmm. for the audience, and that's the first question, is yeah. what's the difference? So, augmented reality is you still see the real world around you. We yeah. just put digital overlays or digital twins in front of you. Mm -hmm. And usually the hardware that's used for that technology are mobile phones or tablets. But you can also use uh, glasses or visors, and something like the Microsoft HoloLens. Okay. Now with virtual reality, we put you inside the headset and we can transfer that transfer you to anywhere right so we can make uh, uh, the experience well unbelievable yeah that's exactly <laughs> what it sounds like I feel like a lot of people have been experiencing that with some of the technology uh, that is here today so what are some of the benefits of XR technology and how is it being used in the energy and petrochemical industries that are so prevalent here in Houston 
Another great question. So the use cases are almost endless. So we work with any industry, oil and gas, uh, manufacturing, pharmaceuticals, uh, mining, tourism, sports, anything you can think of, we can build a simulation around it. Uh, the use cases we're, we're focused on for oil and energy are uh, workforce development training, upskilling, but there's also safety. There's also what's called um, knowledge transfer. So a lot of the guys that are working out there in the plant, they're going to get that gold watch and they're going to leave after 30 years and all that knowledge is going to walk right out the door. So. What we do is we take that knowledge, we put it in a simulation, so now all the young people can experience what that 30 years of knowledge is like. Uh, the other thing that it, they like in the, in the industry is uh, a lot of contractors come in to work at their plants, mm -hmm. and they want validation that they know what they're doing, mm -hmm. right? So they'll, pr they'll provide credentials, yeah. but uh, they don't really have a way to know that they're going to be able to do these certain tasks, and they're going to be working with multi-million dollar equipment. So right now, you can put them in a simulation, and they can see how they perform. So those are some of the benefits of the technology. That's incredible. Where was this 10 years ago when I was starting <laughs> off and needing to be trained on all the things we train on? This is incredible. So how is XR technology, I guess, a little bit different from traditional learning? You've kind of already gotten into that, but it really is different and helpful. Great question, yes. I get this all the time. So it's not meant to take the place of traditional learning. Mm -hmm. You still have the same curriculum. You still have instructor-led training. You still watch your e-learning videos. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just that hands-on portion where you typically would go out and practice these activities maybe in the warehouse or out in the parking lot. Uh, now you can do it in the simulation, but the difference in the simulation is you can do things that you can't do in real life. So things that are dangerous, risky, or expensive, you can practice in a safe environment. So why free range XR and how do customers benefit from working with y'all? Well, that's another great question. So. Uh, a secret that a lot of people don't know is our sister company, Free Range Games, is a video game company. Mm -hmm. So they make high-end AAA video games for like Activision, Sony, Epic, PUBG, and they've been doing it for over 20 years. So we benefit from having all of the artists, sound engineers, technicians, and uh, programmers all work on our side, on the enterprise side. Mm -hmm. So we get all of the benefits of uh, the same game engines that are used to create video games are used to create the simulations on our side. So that's a big benefit for working with us. Well, where can people go for more information if they're interested in using this? Uh, the best way is to track us down on the web. You can find us at www.freerangexr.com. Well, perfect. I think a lot of people are going to be interested on in seeing exactly what we're talking about. So we're going to see what it's like when we put the headsets on here in a second. Whether you're signing up for Medicare for the first time or looking for a plan that provides the coverage, benefits, and savings you really need, I've got exciting news for you. KelseyCare Advantage is the local plan that gives you more. While original Medicare covers hospital and medical insurance, KelseyCare Advantage covers prescription drugs, comprehensive dental, vision and hearing, over-the-counter allowances, worldwide emergency care, and much more all at no additional cost. Speaking of costs, how about zero cost for monthly premiums, primary care copays, and drug deductibles? Best of all, you can see any doctor even out of our network. No wonder we're ranked Texas' best Medicare Advantage plan. Get more without paying more. Enroll in Kelsey Care Advantage today. Call 713-442-7924. That's 713-442-7924. This holiday season at Burlington, will you be surprised by the gifts or the deals? Wow. So many gifts for everyone. So many ways to save. Wow. You'll love the gifts. You'll love the deals. You'll love Burlington. Wow. Dad. Just one minute, okay? Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look!
everyone from players to parents. Football offers unlimited growth with even more to learn. Visit futureforfootball.com to get ahead of the game. Find out where to play, what equipment to use, and get the latest from leagues around the country, including pro tips and parental info from the experts. These resources make it easier than ever to create your plan and make your play. Got time during this holiday break? Well, perhaps you can take in a movie or two. If you're not sure what to watch, Dean Richards has you covered with his holiday movie reviews. Among the new offerings for the holiday break is Babylon, the latest from La La Land, Oscar-winning director Damien Chazelle. In it, he goes back to Hollywood many decades earlier for an extremely raucous, hard R-rated, nothing held back, anything goes roller coaster ride, back into the roaring 20s. In particular, focusing on the years when silent films were ending and talkies were taking over the movie business. And more importantly, how the superstars of the silent era survived the decadence and the transition to this new way of filmmaking. Brad Pitt and Margot Robbie are two of those characters, heading up this overstuffed, overblown, overproduced study in technique and style, but one falling short of any depth of why we should care about any of these characters. Babylon is beautiful, but its nonstop barrage of excess and shock at some point works against the telling of an effective story. Just because you can put it on the screen doesn't mean you should. It's a Dean's List B minus. One of the movies being most talked about for Oscar consideration this year is director Darren Aronofsky's The Whale. In it, former George of the Jungle star Brendan Fraser returns to the big screen, playing a severely overweight, reclusive English professor who suffers verbal attacks from nearly everyone around him. It's Fraser's performance that makes this movie for its heartbreaking yet very moving fragility. It's a Dean's List B+. <laughs> this is going to be fun. For the whole family this weekend, there's the return of one of the most successful animated franchises of the past 10 years, a spinoff of the Shrek series and then a hit on its own, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish reunites Antonio Banderas and Salma Hayek as Puss and also Kitty Softpaws. Upon realizing that the dashing feline is down to the last of his nine lives, he goes in search of a magical forest where he might be granted a wish of nine more lives lives. Joining him on the journey are a load of funny, diabolical, and fairy tale characters to keep the story fun and exciting for all ages, while at the same time offering up a nice moral of friendship and loyalty. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, gets extra points for keeping the story sharp and not relying on tired old cliches on which most animated films lean. It's a Dean's List B+. Plus. And just like we've had musical biopics of legends like Freddie Mercury and Elton John, now comes the life story of a legend of the 80s and 90s, Whitney Houston in I Want to Dance with Somebody. Other projects glossed over the amazing rise and fall of the singer known as The Voice, but this one is one of the most comprehensive and complete, telling all sides of her life, warts and all, all masterfully acted by British actress Naomi Ackie, who not only looks like Whitney, but is also made to sound like her through meticulous lip syncing and reenacting Whitney's actual stage movements that'll bring back a million memories. It's a Dean's List B. Well, you can always get my movie reviews and home video pics sent right to your phones every week just by texting the word Dean to 97999. I hope you have a great holiday weekend in Chicago. I'm Dean Richards. Now, speaking of movies, which film of 2022 got the most thumbs up from moviegoers? And cranking up the heat is going to cost you. Joya Das has those stories and more in today's Morning Business Report. Good morning. The winter storm sweeping across the nation will force Americans to crank up the heat at a time when it's becoming increasingly expensive to do that. The average cost of home heating is projected to jump by 17.2% from last winter to $1,208. That's according to the National Energy Assistance Directors Association. More than 100 million people across the United States are under winter weather and wind chill alerts. Meanwhile, the winter storm is complicating last-minute holiday package deliveries. Amazon tracks updates 
in real time, so if there are delays, customers will know. The U.S. Postal Service says they're going to keep delivering those last-minute gifts as long as it's safe and the roads are still open. Stocks had another down day on Thursday, the Dow closing down 350 points, but well off of the 800-point low of the day. The Consumer Product Safety Commission and Target have announced a recall of more than 200,000 of the retailers' weighted children's blankets. Two children reportedly suffocated after becoming trapped in the blankets. The products were sold nationwide and online from December 2018 to September 2022 for $40. Well, the best movie of 2022 was also its highest grossing one, according to one in five Americans. A recent one poll survey found that 19% selected Top Gun Maverick as one of their favorites for the year, making it the most popular choice among those, poll among those polled. Now, originally announced by Paramount Pictures back in 2010, the sequel took its time getting to theaters as a result of behind the scenes complications and pandemic related delays, moving its release date four times. From the NASDAQ market site, I'm in Times Square. I'm Joya Doss with your morning business report. And that is nearly a wrap on today's show. But before we go, here's a look at today's sponsored content brought to you by Free Range XR. And we will see you back here next week. I hope you and your family have a wonderful Christmas.